These would be my two factors. Excellent work if you got that one correct. You might have done this in a couple of ways. Let's check out one of the methods. If we switch the middle two terms, we can see that we'll get a common factor of n in the first terms and a common factor of phi p in the second terms. If we factor a 7n from the first two terms, we'll be left with 2m and positive 1. And if we factor a phi p from the second term, we'll be left with 1 and positive 2m. These two factors might appear different, but we just want to switch the order of these two terms. Remember, addition is commutative. Now that we can see, there's a common factor of 2m plus 1 in the first term and 2m plus 1 in the second term. We factor again, which leaves us with our factored form. 7n plus 5p times 2m plus 1. But we could have regrouped the terms in another way. I could have grouped this first term and this last term together, and then kept the middle two terms together as well. If we factor a 2m from these first two terms, we'll be left with 7n and 5p. Now, in this last group of terms, there's only a greatest common factor of 1. They don't share any variable factors or number factors. Notice that I have 7n plus 5p and 7n plus 5p in these two parentheses. This is the next common factor. So our two factors are 2n plus 1 and 7n plus 5p. Notice that these answers are exactly the same. We just switched the order of the multiplication. This first parenthesis represents a number, and the second parenthesis also represents a number. So it would be like 2 times 3 would be the same as 3 times 2. Our multiplication is commutative.